Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video we are going to be talking about a potential change of strategy for me in the near future. And um, yeah, I have some very interesting reasons and also some advices for you. Uh, but yeah, before we go into that, I'm currently holding a giveaway throughout 2024. Every single Friday I will be giving away a card. And to enter you need to like Monday's video to Friday's video. I will upload every single day and then the card will be given away on Friday. Uh, so yeah, let's jump right back and just a quick glance of my gallery. My recent purchases have been uh, like this. You probably most of you that have watched the videos recently know that I currently bought a lot of AFCON players. I bought also Eduard Mendy recently. Uh, but in terms of that is just a short term strategy for the AFCON. When, once the AFCON is over, I need to change the strategy. And I have thought about what like to be a good SAR manager you need to learn from your mistakes but you also need to learn from your glory glory days <laughs> that doesn't sound right but uh, uh, yeah my lesser collection have been the best maybe purchase I've ever made on SAR Air. and I think why don't try to do the same in 2024 because we have Burnley and we have Sheffield United those are the two teams that are uh, on the bottom of the Premier League table. And those are the two teams that will most likely go down at the moment. I don't think there is the right opportunity to buy them now. I would wait as long as possible before the prices go up to pick players you think will stay at the club for another year. That was what I did with uh, Leicester. And if you buy the players and you get an extreme, extremely good collection bonus, uh, those players can be very good in uh, the next season. And the thing is that uh, oh, Josh Browning is worth that much? Wait, two seconds. Oh no, <laughs> oh that was just a oh, total valuation of the starting 11. Yeah, that, that shows it. That is very cheap, I think personally. $94 in limited for the entire starting 11 for uh, uh, Burnley. Next season in the championship, I think uh, if they go to the championship, I think they will be extremely good. Extremely good. Especially if company stays and plays the same style of football as they did last year. And the things you want to look at and talk, coming back to my strategy is that uh, I think when there are like five or six weeks until the end of the Premier League season, I will try to pick up players from Burnley, from Sheffield, from the teams in the Premier League and also maybe some other leagues that uh, hasn't been performing and are very likely to get relegated. Because, especially in the Championship, because I have a lot of knowledge there and also because there are so many games. I think there are like 10 more games or something than in the Premier League, I think, or that may be wrong, but there are at least more games in the Championship. And also in La Liga 2, there are also very, very many games. And the games are in very good... Uh, like, the, some of the Championship games are in periods where there are almost no others with fixtures. And then the scores to getting rewards are much, much lower. And for example, a Premier League side going down to Championship can be extremely dominant. And for example, here with Burnley, there are a lot of players. For example, Sander Berge could be very interesting to see in the Championship. Um, I don't Brownhill will stay, but we have players like Gudmundsen. Um, yeah, and other players here that can be very, very interesting to see how they perform in the Championship. And the same with Sheffield United. I think, to be honest, if you want to pick up some players now to prepare for the next season already, you're very early, but you will get a very, very cheap price. Look at that valuation. Starting XC $350, that's insane. How much is Fodering? He's worth only $200. Is this because he won't be the starter goalkeeper next season or? Like that is insane. To have a starter goalkeeper go for so, so cheap. Yeah, but enough about that. But that is uh, an example. If Fodringham is the goalkeeper for a long time, he will probably be one of the best purchases now, in my opinion. But just looking at the team, you spend 357 euros in rare, 
but only 27 euros in limited like like what i'm so close to purchasing a sheffield united stack live on this video right now because that is unreal i know that a lot of these players aren't good enough at least but imagine them in a uh, championship like they won't be as dominant as Burnley, but you can buy a whole collection for a little under 40 euros, I think. That is insane value. And also you get some utility out of them in uh, the Premier League, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> in most cases they want to win anything, but still, that is insane. And they are so close to the bottom. And if you only like, let's say that two or three players out of these 11 or out of the whole Sheffield United gallery um, gets uh, game time in championship next season you will probably earn the money back because looking at some of the lesser players uh, I can come with examples for example um, Yannick Vestergaard for example and this Yannick Vestergaard could be a player on Sheffield now keep in mind that he didn't play the entire season of um, of 22 to 2023 and now because of some transfers Johnny Evans leaving and they needed a new center back Vestergaard stepped in with a new manager he played well he has been one of the best center backs in the championship have played every single game beside one game he gets almost incredible scores every single game and that could be for example uh, trusty Baldock Players that uh, stay at the club. And Vinicius Sosa is a player that I really like. Uh, really, really fancy. Uh, but he doesn't have a new season card. No, he doesn't. Okay, so uh, there are some players that doesn't. So if you uh, are going to buy a brand new collection, that is what I would personally do. Buy a brand new collection of a team that is most likely to get relegated. And most likely, I mean, you should at least be 90% sure. Or the odds should be very, very low for them to get relegated. Very low, like 1.2 or under. That was the case with Le uh, Leicester. Because you don't want to spend a lot of time, a lot of money, and Sheffield United, for example, stay up. But we can see now that Sheffield are on, I think they're on like 8 points. We can uh, check the Premier League table. So for you, if you, for example, are... <coughs> Interested in Serie A, for example, interested in La Liga, interested in yeah, some other leagues, do your research, check which teams that will most likely go down. And I wouldn't buy the players already, I would wait. I would personally wait until you are very sure, because uh, I think either way you're going to make a profit, but you can lose a lot if, it, if they, for example, uh, clutches and uh, goes uh, and stays in the Premier League, for example. Yeah, Sheffield United 9 points, but Burnley are also on 11 points, so both of them are on very low points, but like in here I don't think Everton will go down. Brentford may go down, if Brentford goes down I don't think they will though, they are, they are only 4 points clear actually. Or Luton as well, Luton has have shown a lot of character and uh, so yeah, I think besides like realistically i think the only teams that can be relegated like because crystal palace isn't going to get relegated Res let's be realistic and every single team above that won't get relegated i'm pretty sure of that at least and i don't think nottingham forest will be it either so i think that it is going to be brentford everton luton burley or sheffield united those five th uh, teams will it probably be and the chances of Sheffield being one of them are very, very high. Uh, and in terms of how Burnley has been playing, I don't. I think they will be there in the next season as well. But here is something you need to do your own um, research on, of course. And which players do you think is going to stay? Which players have a long contract but have a low wages? That is so important, especially in Premier League. I'm sorry if you have if you haven't watched it until now because that is something that will happen when the Premier League. When a Premier League team gets relegated, they will lose a lot of money in terms of uh, value of uh, TV companies and uh, 
uh, because a lot of the championship games aren't as hyped as the Premier League games, for example. So you earn a lot more money in the Premier League. It's the same with the Europe League and Champions League and etc. That's why it's whole crisis that Manchester United have gone out of the Champions League and the Europa League. <coughs> but that is important thing. So uh, most of the clubs want to get rid of players that they can get a lot of money from. And also that are on high wages how much they earn. Uh, so if you do your research, the perfect player is a player that is pretty good, that you think will start in the championship side, that has low wages, and that's a long contract. That is the perfect recipe for a good championship player. You can scout many, many months uh, before. Players like that was Duisbury Hall. Duisbury Hall was the perfect player. And um, yeah, he has just been incredible. I had him in limited and rare. Sold the limited for a pretty good price, and uh, I just hope to get uh, more rewards out of him for the rest of the season. Mm. And I don't want to get like sentimental or anything, but I'm so close to actually thinking about keeping the Leicester boys in the Premier League as well because they have gave me so much joy, and I have like insane collection bonus on them. So um, or like bonus uh, altogether with the players. So yeah, that's very nice, and I hope this video helped you out and. Um, and this is a strategy I will most likely do, but my main goal now is maybe to try to get a cap to 40 super aside and then also use the money I get from that and some of the rest money I get from other competitions to uh, when the season is close to an end I will maybe spend it over on different things, but uh, yeah, it will, it will be very very exciting and I will see you next one, bye bye and take care, peace.